Greetings, this is News Now from the Belmont Journal and Joanna Jubilis of the Belmont Citizen Herald joins us for our regular weekly update on the news. And I'm your host, Mike Crowley. So welcome, Joanna. Thank you, Mike. Let's start with um, a little bit of sad news. Belmont High School is losing its popular varsity football coach. What's happening, Joanna? I just got the news yesterday that coach Jan Victor Kuhlman is resigning. His, his last game will be, with, um, I believe it's this Saturday, April 17th. He's been coaching high school football for the past 17 years, and he's been Belmont's head coach for the past seven years. And he was very public about his battle with cancer two years ago in 2019. He was diagnosed with stage one squamous cell carcinoma. He um, had a full neck dissection, 64 lymph nodes, and his tonsils were removed. He also had um, two tumors on his tonsil and on a lymph node. It was, um, it was quite, quite a difficult time for him. And he's very thankful for how everybody supported him through that. Um, I think what I'll tell you uh, an excerpt from his resignation letter said that um, he's reached a point in his life where he um, very much wishes to experience some of the other paths and offerings that this existence has available to me. And in order to do so, I can no longer remain as dedicated as the student athletes of Belmont High deserve. So it would be selfish of me to remain in my position beyond this season and I must step aside. Anyway, he, he did say, he did make it clear as well in his letter, which you'll see published on Wicked Local Belmont, that this does not have anything to do with his cancer, that he's, he, you know, his health is good. His health is good. But this is um, what he's decided. And so I, we're, we're really glad to hear about his health. Um, yes. But it is, it is unfortunate. And I know that so many people will, will, um, will miss him. Yes. Uh, Joanna, um, Memorial Day is coming up um, uh, fairly soon. What can you tell us about plans this year? Well, I'm planning to have a barbecue. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Memorial Day is a great holiday. And in Belmont, the tradition has always been that there's this parade that starts in Cushing Square and ends at Belmont High School and stops at the Grove Street Cere uh, Cemetery for a ceremony. Well, last year, none of that happened. There was no parade. There was no ceremony um, at Grove Street. This year, the select board have decided to still not have a parade, unfortunately, due to you know, COVID. But they will have a ceremony at Grove Street Cemetery on May 31st at 11 a.m. It will be limited to 150 people. I'm not sure. Um, how are they going to logistically handle that? But uh, it will be limited to 150. Maybe someone will be counting. And if you don't make the count, you're not going to be allowed in. I'm not sure how it's going to work. Um, it will also be recorded by Belmont Media Center for people to watch at home. So I think, I think that's good news on the Memorial Day front, because at least we will have this ceremony at Grove Street Cemetery. All right, Joanna. So something else coming up. Um, May 3rd, in fact, um, is town meeting, and there are some interesting issues that are coming before town meeting, including one of the Warren articles has to do with governance of the light department. What's, what's, what's this about, Joanna? Sure. For people who aren't aware, you know, as everyone knows, we are a municipal light community. We have our own light department, which has great benefits when there's a power outage because we get our power back a lot faster than other communities. The, the department, however, is, is governed by a municipal light board. And in Belmont, the municipal light board is the select board, our three member select board. This is um, unique, actually. There's a lot of communities that have separate light boards and they're elected light boards. So what this article will do is if it passes, Belmont would have a light board separate from its select board and it would be a five member board and each member would have to be elected. So at next year's annual town election, we could have on the ballot, you know, people that we need to vote for, for this light board, people will need to run. They'll need, you know, they, they'll need to be at least five people running and because there'll be five seats. 
And there'll be a, a one, one one year seat, two two year seats and two three year seats. But then um, from what I understand, that's for the, the, you know, for the initial, when it becomes, you know, the initial light board, elected light board, but then every seat after that will be three years. So that's important to note. And I think that's all I have to say on that. We'll see. Okay, okay. so there's another, there's another really interesting issue coming up on, on at town meeting, Joanna. And yes. that, and this one has to do with uh, Belmont's continued use of fossil fuels and how do we make progress against the town's climate action goals. So um, what can you tell us about the Warren article that's being proposed? Sure. So this is a resolution for fossil free new construction. And what it would mean is uh, it would allow if it passes it would allow Belmont to adopt a more stringent zero net en energy stretch code and the ability to restrict gas permits for new construction. And this is all, um, again, this is all calling for the legislator. It's, you know, it's, it's, it'll go to the legislature. It'll ultimately be in their hands um, to mandate this. And it would help the statewide obligation to eliminate greenhouse gas emissions from all sources by 2050, that's the goal. And Belmont also has its own goal for 80% reduction of, of green gas emissions by 2050. And if you recall, Michael, in 2018, town meeting overwhelmingly approved the Energy Committee's Climate Action Roadmap, which set goals for electric vehicle adoption and conversion of electric heat pumps for home heating and cooling. Now, I don't know if you've noticed, because I have, I've noticed a lot of electric cars on the road lately. Um. Those, tes those Teslas. <laughs> so I have two, Joanna, and 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 frankly, I've been looking at them, looking at prices, and um, I know a lot of people are. So we'll see what happens. But so town meetings uh, opens opening night is May third. We'll see what happens with these two articles. Do we have time for one more topic? Well, um, um, let's try let's try quickly. So one Belmont youth is asking the select board to approve his Eagle Scout project. Uh, Joanna, what is Alexander Wong asking the select board to do? Okay, Alexander Wong, he is a member of Troop 304, and he wants to become an Eagle Scout, which is the highest rank a scout can achieve, and you have to plan, organize, and lead a project. And his project is to build an informational kiosk to be placed on the grounds of Clay Pit Pond at the Hittinger Street entrance to the intergenerational walking path. And he's working very closely with the Belmont Conservation Commission and Historic District Commission to design this kiosk. It'll be eight feet high, built from pressure treated wood with a hexagonal roof with cedar shingles. And it'll have three sides where information can be placed about local ecology, history, maps of the surrounding area and public, public notices that could be displayed. He's working on getting grants from the Belmont Lions Club and the Judith K. Record Conservation Fund to finance the project. He did get approval from all the town uh, boards, including the select board, that he needs to move forward on this. And I'm looking forward to seeing it get installed and, and making it a front page story. <laughs> all right. Well, it sounds like a great project, Joanna, and, and we certainly wish him well in, in going forward. So thank you, Joanna, and well, we'll talk with you next time. You can find more news about or from the Belmont Citizen Herald at belmont.wickedlocal.com. You've been watching the Belmont Journal News Now. I'm Mike Crowley, and I'll see you next time.